Hey guys, it's Joe. I'm back. It's been a long while. Uh, busy with work and stuff and summer and stuff. I'm working on my house and this and that. So, um, But I wanted to just do another quick uh, video, a couple of uh, items that I re just received. Uh, one day apart from each other, which uh, was a kind of a nice surprise because they weren't supposed to do that. So anyway, um, back in beginning of July, um, I uh, had a couple of weeks off from uh, from work and stuff, so of course I was going to try and do a little vacationing and stuff, so I was able to take a day trip to uh, to New York, uh, mainly because the uh, it was um, the end of a very large and interesting exhibit that had actually come from England, uh, it was the David Bowie exhibit, uh, David Bowie is, and uh, it was like the last week or week and a half or so and I just like I had to find a, a window of opportunity to go because I really wanted to go and I did go and you know it was just fantastic I mean just like you know you know actual stuff that he wore and actual lyric stuff and, and instruments and um you know displays uh music obviously um more than anything though was that his spirit was there I mean he was just there in essence, you know, with everything around it, uh, one little thing that happened to me there, which, you know, it goes along with a dream I had on the night he passed away, but, uh, so that's another story. So anyway, I'm walking around the exhibit, blah, 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 and, uh, there was an exhibit of, um, sort of a jumpsuit that he had worn for Top of the Pops when he was, um, singing Starman. And uh, that's a, it's a piece of footage that I, they actually only just re recently uh, uh, found or refound or whatever. Uh, and uh, so, but the way they, they were, so they were showing this thing and the exhibit had like, was like mirrored and, and it was like this, you know, really cool exhibit. But I initially had my back to it and I was looking at, looking at something under the wall. And I just turned to my right just as the second verse of Starman uh, comes up and there's, a, there's iterations of the word you as in Y-O-U. And the second iteration of it, as I turned around, the way that the mirrored uh, display was looking, Bowie points at the camera and just goes, you, just like that. Just at the moment I'm turning, he's, there's an image of David Bowie from 1972 literally pointing at me going, you. It still creeps me out talk, talking about it, but it was so, it was just one of those moments that's like, ah. Thanks, man. That was cool. Uh, you know, it's, it's serendipity. It's probably stupid, but I don't care. It was very, very cool. And it just kind of set the tone for the rest of the the exhibit for me. And, of course, I cried when I got to uh, the Ashes to Ashes um, video uh, and uh, the suit, the, the clown suit was there. Um, yeah, I, hopefully maybe that will even come back. But, anyway, long story short, they were selling, you know, all kinds of stuff. And the merch, kind of expensive and, you know, not surprising. Um, at the time couldn't really afford what I wanted to buy, but found, uh, one on eBay for much cheaper, and it's the, basically the book that was produced specifically for the exhibits that David Bowie is. And, uh, it's a beautiful, it's really a really lovely, lo lovely, nicely bound, and in really good shape, even, even though the, the, they said it was always, you, you know, it was really well worn, and you know, it's not that worn at all, it's like it's... So, you know, anyway, it's just, like, really well done. It's, like, you know, it's, again, it's got all of the, if you can see, you know, it's got, it's it's all in color, complete. Basically has everything that was in the exhibit for the most part uh, in general, like all the drawings and stuff and original this, that. Yeah, so, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, you know, if you get a chance to go online and maybe get one of, get this book, uh, it's it was well worth it. Uh, I got a really good uh, price on it. So, anyway, that's the that's that one. So, uh, I haven't even had a real chance to crack it open. So, another thing that came in. Um, so, one of the things that I'm uh, particularly I don't know obsessed about in regards to like uh, color record music collecting and stuff like that are box sets. They're kind of a weakness of mine, I suppose, and. Uh, and for things like, you know, I'm just looking at them right now, um, things like, you know, the Pink Floyd early years box set that went for 
basically uh, two or three car payments kind of things like that yeah I bought it of course I did but I got actually a pretty good deal on that one for some other reasons but anyway so anyway box sets um, I really like a good well made sort of well executed concept of a, for a box set like uh, uh, the deer hunter did one uh, called the color spectrum where they made 10 inch records of diff the different colors basically 10 inch eps with all the songs on them and it's a beautiful set and i did a film of it somewhere uh elsewhere that i have yet to, to edit but anyway but so another one that came through that was sort of similar but just so slightly different is uh, the decemberists uh i'll be your girl it's like their new album and of course there's many iterations but this is this crazy box set and the box set is vinyl. It's a vinyl, vinyl box set. But, and, you know, there's uh, also came with downloads and all that kind of stuff. But I figured I'd, you know, give it a give it the old unboxing video. Like like the kids do these days. Yeah. Uh, but take that with a grain of salt. So let me open this puppy up. Um, I don't have the fancy camera looking down on it. To, at the moment, at least I don't anyway. So I'm just doing it this way. And we can do that. Okay. Anyway, it's like a really well produced by John Cogleton. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, who recently did uh, Kimber's new record, and also uh, uh, Saint Vincent, uh, Saint Vincent's last two or three records or something like that. Anyway, uh, so it comes. So this is, comes in a box, slip slip cover, cover box. Love lovely sort of try like paintings and things on the front and all but the book itself there's some shorts on that where did that come from anyway so the book though is a pop-up book with the vinyl inside so let's check this out <laughs> oh that's cool <laughs> look at that that's awesome that's well done see that's that see this is the kind of stuff i like uh, so I'm assuming one of the records is in there. Yeah, yeah, there's the first record. Let's do this uh, scientifically here. <laughs> sort of like recycled paper. So this, is, so this is the green one, and this has uh, two. So once in my life, cutting stone. So they, you know, it's basically singles. It's 45s. Whereas the Deer Hunter one, uh, again, that was 10 inch. Uh, was that 45s too? I'm not sure. I have to, Go back and look at that one again. So that's cool. So you can see how it sort of like, I don't know if it does it this, probably looks like it made, okay, oh, okay, I see the concept now. That's pretty much the concept is that it sort of spits out like Pez like the, uh, the records. red one not clear red but huh. but you can see the how it's all working in there so it's like yeah it's like a little uh that's very queer that's a great design now that's awesome i love stuff like this it's just like it couldn't have been cheap to produce Jeepers. that's the yellow what's a yellow one yeah. Huh. Seeing that? Yeah. So that's the. That looks to be the sort of the concept of the. The pop-up book is that it spits out in each success successive single. Oh, okay. We're getting into some other little areas here of pop-up pop-uppiness. That's a word. Here we got pink bubblegum one. As you can see, there's yeah, some other sort of pop-up stuff happening there. We'll see. There's another one. This is for, let's see. Oh, uh -huh. see, this has the little booklet. See, that's very cool. Oh, and it's signed. How cool is that? It's signed by the, by the band. I didn't know that. I don't think I remember seeing that in the, in the store that that that, that it was signed. Well, that's cool. We'll see, you know, so surprises. I like that stuff. 
look back at that in a second. But yeah, nice, cool, cool designs. These are these are the kinds of things that you know makes for record collecting, especially at my advanced uh, age and or width. Kind of makes it joyful again uh, when one is trying to <laughs> rekindle those joys, those young young man joys. Of things like record collecting and finding stuff and searching for albums and CDs or whatever that you've been looking for, uh, you know, part of that that whole chase, you know, of record collecting. And I love, uh, but I, and I just love packages like this that are just so so beautifully designed and so well executed, um, just really tight, you know. Okay, there's a see-through red. Right. Another one. And that's a pink. So sort of pink. Well, kind of a yeah. So that's that. That's how that book works. Let's look at the, uh, the little book of as well. So, you know, just a general sort of um, general booklet of lyrics, of course. <laughs> so, you know, the Decemberists are one of those bands that. Uh, uh, sorry, just looking at some of the some of the credits here. Um, so anyway, yeah, no, so the December are one of those kind of quirky, newer, younger bands that kind of flirt with uh, progressive tendencies, but very poppy as well, but also then very kind of alty in some ways, uh, even, you know, little of different genres and things like that. Basically a band that likes to experiment a little bit and to kind of uh, just not do the sort of same old, same old uh, from... Uh, of the stuff that I don't have their entire catalog, and I need to now. Uh, it's one of those things where uh, I, you know, there's the huge lists of things I need to buy and complete, and God knows, you know, I only just just recently went through the Fleetwood Mac catalog, sort of pre Nick's Buckingham stuff with Peter Green from top to bottom, and uh, and um, Bob Welch those eras, uh, which are great by the way, but I, you know, I'm 53 and I've only just started listening to that stuff, so I could give you an idea of like how long my list is. Anyway, long story short. So anyway, so for things like this, um, this kind of stuff makes uh, vinyl collecting special, again, to me. Um, I, you know, a band like this gets it. I think, uh, you know, even in the old days, you'd be hard-pressed to, to find something as really lovely is this this book uh, or you know present well it's, it's less a book than it is a, pre pro a presentation but it's you know it's a pop-up book you know it's technically a pop-up book it's like a little Pez dispenser for 45s you know uh and it's just uh it's just really beautifully done and i know i believe that there have been some other acts that have done something some stuff some similar kinds of things i suppose but um so I, I'm a sucker for stuff like that, even if it's a band that I'm not as familiar with that I should be. So um, anyway, that's those are my my most recent gets. I have lots of other stuff that I, I'm looking at right now that are just uh, oh my god. There's so many things I could I could look at that I haven't looked at uh, yet, at least on camera. Um, anyway, so real quick, I just wanted to throw that out there, and uh, I'll throw this up in a, uh, whenever I get a shot. Um, it's been the start of a busy new semester where I work uh, in higher education so uh, that's where things are have been and I've also been doing, doing some other producing of some friends of mine some music stuff and uh, that you know that always takes a while so uh, especially if you know if you can't work at it technically every every single day and you gotta go to work and you gotta take care of the house and do the lawn and the laundry and the blah and the this and that. I don't have a maid you see anyway um, so I will uh, take my leave thank you Hopefully you'll you'll dig this uh, little uh, this little film clip and uh, 
if you find uh, yourself in Newbury Comics in Boston, which I know I believe they do have a copy of this, go ahead and purchase it. Uh, it's well worth it. So anyway, ta-ta.